Hello. How is everybody? So we are on day eight, day eight of the generous challenge here in our coffee talk. Welcome. So yesterday we talked about how it's not only beneficial to the recipient when you're generous, but we talked about how good it feels when you're generous, right? So it's the generosity, not just helps others, but it just makes you feel so good, right? And there's nothing wrong with noticing that I get benefit from my generosity. I get benefit from loving you. I get benefit from, you know, being of help, of, of service. So I just wanted you yesterday to lean in on that idea that, yeah, you get benefit too. Today, we're going a little bit more into the idea of, we've been talking about wealth, wisdom, or work, right? There's different ways that you can be generous. You can give money and send donations. You can tutor, you can give advice or feedback. You can, you know, share your knowledge somehow, or you can get down and dirty and really pull up the boots and get, get in there and start working. So today's about work. What I want you to do, what I'm challenging you to do, if you choose to accept it, is to take five people today. This sometimes means you have to leave your house, by the way. Five people today that you just strike up conversations with that are strangers. Okay, that's your challenge. So we're striking up conversations with people, especially those of you who are introverted. And I consider myself an introvert, even though it doesn't seem like it. Striking up conversations with strangers is not my jam. <laughs> like, I don't think it's my jam, but I'm going to do it with you today. We're going to strike up conversations at the grocery store, at the gas station, you know, crosswalks at the schools, um, maybe a neighbor that you don't talk to very often. And you're going to strike up a conversation. What is it going to do to strike up a conversation with someone? Right? It's going to make you feel connected. It's going to make you feel belonged, right? Belonging. Those are basic needs that we have. And this is where we're going to be going with it. So you could strike up a conversation by complimenting someone on their shoes or complimenting someone on their car or sort of complimenting, or you could ask them a question. How is your day going? How are you? Do you like working here? Sometimes I say that I say, are you getting overtime being here or how have you been busy today at work, right? Striking up a conversation where that person can share with you. The reason I'm bringing it up actually is that I was at a uh, checkup recently. Well, a couple of weeks ago now I was at a checkup and, uh, it was a doctor I didn't know. Everything's good, but I was a doctor I didn't know. And I asked her, what, uh, how is your day going? And she's like, it's good. It's good. And she says that she's filling out the paperwork. What do you do for a living? And I said, I teach self-care to people just like you. And she turned and um, she said, what? And I said, I teach self-care to people just like you. And then she went into a long uh communication of all the things that she had been through in the last couple of years as a doctor, right? Not feeling that she has time for quality sleep, not eating well, gained weight, drinking too much, not spending time with her children, disconnection from her spouse. So here we are in the hospital room, in the, in the doctor's office room, and she is really sharing with me how much uh, trouble and pain that she had had in these last couple of years. And um, it was a beautiful conversation. And I, I thought, you know what, that one question, how are you doing? How are you doing? Really opened her up. And I've mentioned before in some of these videos, just asking my neighbor who had a baby recently, how are you? Right? Just asking someone, how are you is really important. So five people today, strange people, not strange people, strangers to you. They could be strange. That's great. Um, and just striking up a conversation, seeing what comes out of it. They have done studies. I think it was um, University of Chicago did a study where they put two people, two groups. Some people rode the L and didn't talk to anybody. They just sat quietly. And some people were uh, told to strike up conversations. And the people who had conversations had such more enjoyable, rich 
uh, commute than those that didn't open their minds and open their whole day just by having these conversations, sort of meaningless conversations, perhaps in the beginning, but those smaller conversations open those bigger conversations. And then whatever you're putting in changes who you are. So enjoy this today. I'm going to do it with you. Five people today, striking up a conversation. How are you? You could give them a compliment. You could ask their opinion about something. I sometimes do that. If I'm shopping, I'll say, what do you think of this brand? Have you ever tried this coffee before? And striking up conversations that way. It is not easy for me to do. I have to admit, it's very hard for me to sort of open up a conversation, but I find that it's always very worthwhile, not just to the other person, but to me. Okay. So that's your challenge. I hope it's a benefit to you. Let me know how it goes and I'll see you tomorrow. All right. Deep bows. Bye. Bye.